Hi y'all! I'm starting my art journal page with gesso today to help my paint spread. In a minute I'm going to show you a trick. Here are three different Dina Wakely paints. They're heavy body acrylics. It's mineral, lemon, and magenta. I'm gonna use a damp brush, and I'm just going to sweep it across the page back and forth until I get a good coverage. I'm going to use this new Dina Wakely in a line stencil to just give it a little more texture and interest. I'm repeating mineral at the bottom, and then I'm going to put magenta at the top. I can't always create a face exactly like I want when I want to, so I often doodle faces everywhere. I did this on some notebook paper with a ballpoint pen, and now I'm going over it with a Stabilo All pencil and just changing it where I need to and adding details where I need to. The Stabilo All Pencil is water soluble, so off camera, sadly, you can't see it, but I just spritz it ever so lightly with water, and then when I turn it over on the old book paper I want to use, it leaves a trace for me. I'm just going over and making more lines visible and making changes as I go with the Stabilo All Pencil. But from here, you don't have to use the Stabilo All Pencil. You could use any kind of pen or pencil that you chose. I'm adding some flowers that I made with Dina Wakely Scribble Sticks. They're really cool because they act like watercolor. And these flowers were just left over in my collage box and I thought I would just stick them in her hair. I think they look great on her. I dipped the scribble stick in my paint water and just dapped it on for cheeks. That's what I mean when I say they act like watercolor. And I'm not great with watercolor, so this is my shortcut. I'm adding the whites to her eyes just to give her eyes just a little more life and expression. Using a pen now, this is a Fude ball, and instead of the Stabilo All pencil, I am just adjusting and adding and fixing our eyes with a pen instead at this point. It's just my personal preference.
using that same pen, I'm writing down my quote. I have a quote board on Pinterest. I collect them there. This one did not have a name with it. I'm so sad or I would have shared it, um, but I love this one. Be patient with yourself. We kind of tend to be hard on ourselves, so maybe this week or when you watch this, you can give yourself a little mercy. All in all, this page came together really quickly and I enjoyed making it. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you the next time. See you soon. Bye.